would allow people to understand and be a legend. to uh, see us on DJ Sincere TV. Right. We're here with Ty Harris from Harris Young Clothing. So, you're a local artist and designer. Um, basically, you started a clothing line, what, last year? Last year, correct. And uh, just tell me about how that all started, how that came about. Uh, really, the concept came from, uh, uh, originally, I had my daughter, and I wanted to build a legacy for her to be able to kind of follow up on. And uh, I figured that I worked for a couple corporate com companies already, and uh, with those tactics that they used as far as the innovative marketing and things like that. As long as I can transition those skills over, I felt like I could be positive and it could be a, a win for me with the clothing line. So that, that's what kind of spawned everything to come about. Okay. So some of your designs and some of the, the styles that you put together, what, what inspires those? Uh, culture. Uh, you know, I try to make sure that culture is, is a big influence on my designs. Um, I want to make sure that people can uh, resonate with our designs and be able to uh, mesh with it organically. I didn't want to feel like they were just purchasing uh, our designs because they knew me. I wanted to make sure that they purchased our designs because the design was dope. So that was the main thing that, um, that, that helps influence what, 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 what we put on t-shirts or sweatshirts or whatever the case may be. Okay, so as far as um, as far as far the design you currently had, mm -hmm. we, we have, uh, I think the fall line is out right now, right? Correct, fall correct. 2016. 2016. Um, that's what the Jimi Hendrix, right? Jimi Hendrix crew necks. We got the um, the Be Strong for the, for women and men uh, crew necks, as well as we're getting ready to bring out the Letterman jackets as well. Okay, so how did you how did you come up with the Jimi Hendrix? Uh... I wanted to really uh, put out something that that kind of crossed over barriers. You know, of course, uh, black people know about Jimi Hendrix, white people know about Jimi Hendrix, right? But I wanted something that that would allow people to understand to be a legend. And, and inside of that, we wanted to bring out something where it wasn't automatically, it started off as just his face, then we got his original signature, and I wanted to print that on something because I felt like it was um, it was original and it was dope, and it hasn't, hadn't been done yet. And I wanted to make sure that I, I showed love to Jimi Hendrix because he's one of my biggest influences. Okay. Now, now using Jimi Hendrix and, uh, and all that uh, logo and, and basically the essence of, of any, any hood brand. Correct. Um, now you had to go through a process and get approvals and things like that. Is that correct? correct? That's correct. That's correct. And, okay. Um, luckily, the Lord looked out for us and we got everything pushed through, and um, you know it came out to be a success. All right. But I want to make sure you know people that are watching the video mm -hmm. don't think, okay, well he's just he's just biting the style, <laughs> using the copyright that he doesn't uh, no, have no, a license no, to. No, 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 no. We like made that. sure we, we went through the proper channels and got everything taken care of. Okay. So as far as starting the clothing line and how how you how everything came about. Now, obviously. Um, you don't just wake up one morning and say, I'm going to start a clothing line. Right. Right. So what were some, some of the challenges that you faced in the first year, um, not only just as a business owner, but as a designer and, uh, and strategy, strategizing your marketing so that, that way you can become successful? I think the biggest uh, challenge for us would be making sure that we follow the steps that was necessary in order to become successful. Uh, I've seen a lot of my peers kind of skip over certain steps that, that, that was needed in order to... Uh, to build a foundation, and, and I felt like as long as we took care of those immediate steps and didn't then uh, go a little bit go go fast than what we were supposed to, I felt like we could build a core brand. You um, know, that, that's that's the main thing. We really haven't ran it, ran across any negative uh, any negative situations with marketing or distribution or anything like that. So, so as far as the as far as the brand, where have you di you've been in business a year? Correct. Where is your distribution at right now? Right now, mainly online. Uh, of course, we do online orders, uh, but um, as far as uh, states that have bought from us, I mean, we, we've been all across the United States. Uh, of course, Baltimore, where I'm originally from, we are there in D.C., Virginia, uh, Atlanta, Charlotte, uh, Miami, uh, Wisconsin, L.A. So we 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 have purchases from pretty much everywhere. Okay. Um, now, if somebody was looking for your clothing line, where, where, where are they going to be able to find it? Where, how are they going to get in contact with you for distribution, and how are they going to get in contact with your company so that, that way they can maybe suggest an idea or license your product or anything of that nature? Uh, of course. I mean, if you're looking to purchase, we do have the website, www.harrisyoungclothing.com. Outside of that, they can uh, reach us through Gmail, harrisyoungclothing at gmail.com, or they can just call, you know, 410-608-4502. Of course, we're open to... Um, 
you know, distribution orders. Uh, we also open to ideas. We open to networking. So anything of that nature, uh, definitely hit us up. Yeah. Yeah. G. G. Two G. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hers young be the fashion, swerving in and out of trash. Man. You can smell it through the plastic. I don't cop it, I just ask it. Ain't your mama, I be sipping. Fed a genie, what I'm getting. Flicker the wrist, I be wet. I'm like Granny in the kitchen. Hers young be the fashion, you can smell it through the plastic. I don't cop it, I just ask it. Swerving in and out of trash. Man. Ain't your mama, I be sipping. Fed a genie, what I'm getting. Flicker the wrist, I be wet. Man. I'm like Granny in the kitchen. Sickle Dean more than water. Niggas better hide their daughters. Matter of fact, hide their mamas too. I'm a dog like Scooby Doo. All this flavor, I be dripping. Her is young, gonna stitch it. Water whipping, powder mixing. Fucking up, Granny Kitchen. Nigga bucks like Tampa. On my shit, no pamper. Head shot, high stamp on. Knock your scalp off, cancer. I'm from the gutter like bowling balls. 50 grams look like a lacrosse ball. When you talking about bands, this balls talk. Shh, be quiet when I'm just talking. My nigga, my nigga, my nigga, sick. No. Oh, they ain't playing with you. Uh -uh. No, I ain't fussing with you. Uh -uh. Point them out dead, get you. Uh -uh. I ain't wearing tree religion no more. Uh -uh. Her shun go my stitching, of course. Uh -uh. Paper tags, high shags, of course. Uh -uh. Every day a nigga drags for her shun be the fashion. Swerving in and out of trash. You can smell it through the plastic. Now you have a background in marketing, is that correct? Correct, correct, correct. Okay, so tell me a little bit about that. Uh, I started working for Best Buy. I was a, a super supervisor at Best Buy at the age of like 17. Uh, I ran the computer department, and it was about a million dollar a year uh, department. I transitioned from that and became a manager. After that, I, um, I left and uh, became uh, a manager of uh, Sprint. And uh, of course, with their marketing plans and things like that, I became a manager trainee, where I actually trained all the managers in, in the region. And what that allowed me to do is just be able to uh, be under Fortune 500 companies and learn their tactics. And inside of that tactic, be able to incorporate that into the product that we currently push. Okay, okay. So uh, with that marketing, what what's helped you the most as far as just using using those tactics to get your product out there? Uh, really, just understanding people and understanding what people want. I think sometimes uh, we we follow what we want, and working inside of those corporations, it teaches you to find out what the customer wants or what the consumer wants. And that was a big thing that had to do with our clothing line. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't just something that I loved. I wanted to make sure that it would be able to transition over every genre. And um, I think, like I said, working for those Fortune 500 companies, with them being able to push their product to, to every customer and understanding every customer down to a T, it allowed me to do the same and just replace the product that I was doing with them with the product that, that we currently have. Okay. Now, as far as the, the product line, right? what do you have coming up for 2017? Oh, man, we have... Um, Right now, we're looking to get inside retail stores. Uh, so, Lord bless, we're negotiating now to get inside of three retail stores. Shout out to all those stores that we're looking to get into. Um, outside of that, we have fashion shows inside of larger metropolitan areas. Um, and other than that, man, you know, we're doing a lot of networking, doing a lot of vibing with positive people, and it's, it's, it's uh, bringing a positive outcome. So, just look for us to continue to be successful and be blessed and uh, be humble. And what about designs for next year? What do you got going uh, we on? We got we got some custom designs that's coming out. Oh, uh, that's dealing more in the uh, like the custom leather shirts, custom leather jackets, things like that. Um, we're going to be going to kids in in, in uh, spring, early spring. We will be bringing out kids, HYC brand uh, clothing. I think that's going to be a good look for us. A lot of our customers have hit us up and wanted to actually Definitely. match with who they have and with their kids. And we didn't get the chance to actually come out with the designs that we wanted, but right now I think we came out with about, we we have uh, did the go on about four or five designs that we're going to bring out in early spring. Okay, sounds good. Early spring. Yeah. That's, that, we'll, we'll be waiting. For sure. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Man. For sure. Now, as far as the... Um, as far as music and fashion, obviously, you know, a lot of times those go hand in hand. Correct. And, um, what do you think as far as getting your product to artists or what kind of artists would you like to work with as far as you seeing your clothing line and videos or seeing your clothing line mainstream? Uh, what kind of artists would you like to work with or what would you like to see? Um, it's a lot of dope artists out. Uh, I don't I don't really listen to too many new artists, uh, but as far as um, I like, uh, of course, Don Q. I like uh, my man Davies. Davies is dope. I like um, Post Malone. I like, is it? Uh, Kilani, is yeah. how you pronounce it. I like um, G Easy. I like uh, it's a local artist that's already one of our brand ambassadors by the name of Ash Cash. He's a brand ambassador for us. 
Um, it's a local artist in Baltimore that's um, called Diamond Blue. He's dope. I've known him since he was younger. So I really just want to mesh with people that kind of mesh with us. I wanted to be organic. I don't want it to seem like it's forced on them. And based off of their music, I think those would be people that we like. And, I mean, of course, it's others, but those right. are the ones that stand out now. Okay, good. All right, so uh, tell us where we can find you. Tell us where we can buy the product and um, and how we find you on social media. Okay, you can find me on social media. Instagram is going to be at Harris Young Clothing. Uh, Twitter is going to be at Harris Young Clo, C-L-O. Uh, Snapchat is going to be the same thing, at Harris Young Clo. Of course, hit the website up. Again, www.harrisyoungclothing.com. Um, and hopefully, like I said, man, we'll be we'll be venturing out and doing more things. So, all right, sounds good. Now, what I like to usually conclude my interviews with is a simple, um, like, what do you listen to in the car right now? So, if I went out to your car, I'm going to hear a, a track in your in your CD player, DVD player, whatever you got in there. <coughs> so, uh, what do you, what, what would I what would I be hearing right now? I'm listening to Post Malone. I like Post Malone and J Cole uh, new, new, new uh, albums. So those would be the ones that you'll probably hear me listening to currently. All right. Well, I mean, that pretty much does the interview. Um, I think we covered the topic pretty good. Okay. Uh, I definitely got, uh, if they didn't see the slideshow, uh, all your all your new stuff, all your old stuff, you know, they can definitely find it on hairshownclothing.com. And uh, basically, any shout outs you want to make right now? Uh, I just want to shout out everybody that, that has helped support us, uh, that's been networking with us, that always showed us love. Uh, all of our consumers that purchased the product that just helped push us forward. I definitely want to shout out uh, DJ Sincere uh, TV. Uh, th- thank you for getting us, giving us the opportunity for us to come and you know give our story. For sure. You know, and that's about all for us. Man. All right. Well, um, as always, like, share, and subscribe. If you got, if you go to Harris Young Clothing um, or hit him on Instagram, make sure you share his page. Uh, he's got a lot that's of good up, things going up. on, and uh, that's it. We're out. Appreciate you, man, once again.